What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the best base defense in Madden. This defense is incredibly effective. I'm going to show you how I like to set it up. This is a great defense uh, to start a game out with just to kind of see what are they trying to hit? What are the routes they're trying to hit? What are the concepts that they're trying to run? This is a great base defense in my opinion. Um, it's actually a lot safer this year than it was last year. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of really positive features of this defense in this year's game now the defense that i'm talking about is the nickel 245 odd cover six and we're actually going to convert this 245 odd cover six into essentially a 245 odd cover four quarters and i'm going to show you how to do that in this it's actually really simple only requires a couple of simple adjustments that you can do really easily and we're going to show you how you can use this to shut down a lot of the flooding concepts that you're going to be seeing online uh, against the gun bunch offensive meta now if you're new to the channel like i said hit the subscribe button we upload new videos every single day and also if you are watching this and you have not picked up my two four five odd defensive guide i would really encourage you to do that because it is it is truly the best defense in the game right now i don't know of any defense that rivals this i think it's significantly better than three three five wide but you've got three three five wide right in your audibles and the beauty of two four five odd is you can actually get eight defensive backs on the field through some situational substitutional adjustments that we show you how to do in our defensive ebook and then you can audible into 335 just like you 335 wide just like you could from 335 normal so the there's really no loss to moving to the 245 odd and i'm telling you right now the 245 odd absolutely screams you will send so much pressure at your opponent with this defense so that being said without further ado let's jump into the video if you want to get the guide it's on sale for 15 bucks in the description it's a one-time purchase but what i love that we're doing this year for all of our ebooks is it's a one-time purchase and then we update them for the year so you get 245 odd all season long we're going to continue to update it with new coverage concepts new pressures or if the patch changes how the meta works we're going to show you everything that we're doing from this formation so let's dive into the video if you want to get the guide it's in the description cover six okay here is how we're going to run this it's honestly really simple uh, what i like about two four five odd is when you baseline and show blitz you're going to see here that we get this look right here where this corner goes off uh, off the line of scrimmage he doesn't press up on the line of scrimmage that's absolutely huge for this defense because let me show you real quick i'm going to show you one quick thing so if i base uh, if i just press coverage out of this watch what happens to the corner on the right i'm just going to call verticals in streak circle and i want you to watch here you're going to see he actually recovered pr relatively well there. He normally doesn't. That's normally an easy one-play score. So it's much better this year to play off coverage, at least right now. So we're going to base a line. We're going to show blitz. That's more for the pressures and everything else that we can do from this. But it does give us, it creates this nice little look for us, uh, you know, pre-snap. Okay, so then from that point, what I personally like to do out of this is I actually like to simply man up the left of screen uh, receiver and I like to man up the running back as you can see right here and then from there I'm going to crash my defensive line down and then I'm gonna use or this guy and I'm not gonna change his adjustment or anything I'm just gonna use or him and that's pretty much it honestly um, the only other adjustment that I would recommend is this um, where I would take the defensive end on the right side of the screen and either put him into a hard flat or put him into a bluff blitz assignment. But I don't have to do that for the integrity of the coverage. And what you're going to see is this is going to do a really good job. I'm just going to go to the bunch trail and I'm going to set up a corner streak flat concept. So just kind of a standard concept just like this. And you're going to see that this is going to do a really good job. We're going to get great pressure from this formation. But you see here, if I try to throw this corner route, it's going to be completely taken away. And we're oftentimes going to get interceptions. Now, what I love about this defense is it takes away the threat of a corner route pretty much in general um, if you actually think about it with the way that we're going to set this up we're going to basically be taking away all threats of a corner route for example let me give you another example i'm going to go to the play uh i'm going to go to like just i'll just set the concept up this is like a corner strike so i'm going to put the outside bunch receiver on a corner same concept and as you'll see you get great pressure and as you see again we get an interception there's another corner route that a lot of people like to do out of gun bunch. I'm not going to uh, take the time to go get it, but it's essentially a tight end corner route. So we'll do something like this, where we send the tight end to the corner, the secondary uh, or the slot uh, to the uh, street, the vertical, and then we're going to 
Um, and, then, and then we're going to send the, the far bunch receiver, we're going to send him uh, to the hard flat or to the quick flat. And what you're going to see is if I try to throw this corner, I'm not going to have time to because the 2, 4, 5 odds have the best pressure in the game. And then as you see, if I throw a corner out, that's completely back. So there's no way for they, there's no way that they will throw a corner route on your field. The other thing that I want to really impress upon you that I love about this defense is let's say, for example, that they, um, let, let's say, for example, that they want to run the play flood. Okay. Flood is a phenomenal play, but here's what I really like about the defense um, is we're going to create this look just like so real simple setup. Honestly, we're just manning those two guys up on the backside. And then when we see that slot might be going on an out pattern, we're just going to come over here with our user and essentially take that away. So I've got my user there. I've also got that guy that is in that outside quarter zone. And I'm telling you right now, later on in the year, mark my words, but later on in the year, we get 99 overall zone coverage and all that stuff. They're going to play that even better than what you're seeing right here. This, to me, is the defense right of the of the present and the defense of the future. It's the way that most of the NFL teams uh, defend these type of formations because it doesn't just drift. You don't get drifty, 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 right? You're going to play sound principles. If you see a crosser, that's your responsibility. So any crossing route from right to left is your primary responsibility uh, from a user perspective, okay? That's the biggest thing uh, that really you have to watch out for if there's any crossing route from left to right meaning and by crossing route i mean like deeper so the three red hook zone he will oftentimes take anything to the flat so for example if they drag you're going to see here this three wreck will carry that drag all the way across the formation really well basically man matches the drag so the beauty of this is literally all you have to do is watch out for your mesh post type routes. You'll see here, we're just going right in here and taking that away. Everything else is completely bagged. Double post is gonna have a very difficult time getting open against this, this concept. So this is one of my favorite, I mean, this is my favorite defense right now. I call this against every single thing, man. We're gonna show you a couple videos over the course of the next couple days of how you can use this coverage to adapt to different formations and what their strengths are. This format, this coverage, in my opinion, is, is by far the best coverage in the game because um, it doesn't it doesn't rely on drop zone, right? It doesn't rely on drop zone. It man matches you, so it plays zone and man at the same time. To me, that's the best way to do it. I think a lot of people will be moving to something like this. The more they can understand it, the better. So anyway, two four five odd defensive guide. If you want to learn exactly what I use on defense, the two four five odd is the place to get it. There's a link in the description below. You just click that link. It is only fifteen dollars, like I said. And we're gonna update this guide throughout the the life of the guide, meaning throughout the entire Madden 22 season. You will get updates as things change, as metas shift, as patches come out. We will be sharing all that with you. So thanks for your support and thanks for your time. If you want to get the 245 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description below. Just click that. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away.